It is finally time. Today, I'm making 10 air fryer recipes you didn't know you could actually make in the air fryer. Now, like a lot of you who have instant pots that sat on your shelf for months, I was the same with my air fryer. I just never really got into it until I started getting comments from you guys to make air fryer recipes. So I decided to open up my air fryers try them out and I just have to tell you, I am loving my air fryer. Now before we jump into everything, I just wanna let you know, when using the air fryer or the air fryer lid, it is the same. So you're gonna set your temperature the same, you're gonna set your time the same. Now we're ready to jump right in. The first recipe I'm making is English muffin mini pizzas. First gonna put some parchment paper into it, Next, you're gonna take your English muffins. I can fit four in here. We'll just put them right onto the parchment paper. I just love using any store-bought pizza sauce and just spoon it a little bit on each one. Now for my favorite part, the cheese. You can never have too much cheese on these pizzas. At least, that's my opinion. Then I love buying the little mini pepperonis to go on top. Definitely you should not be working at a pizza place. There we go. Oh my. Oh, the struggle of pepperonis is real. Our temperature is 400. Our time is four minutes. And we're just gonna put this baby in. And push start. All right, it is done. Oh, those look so good. The next recipe is garlic parmesan drumsticks. Now you can make these with drumsticks or you can even make them as wings, but we're making drumsticks today. Okay, you're gonna start by adding three fourths cup of Parmesan cheese. Next, two teaspoons of garlic, a teaspoon of pepper. We're just gonna eyeball here. You guys know I always eyeball. And then just a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of parsley, just putting in there too. And just mix that all together and this is what we are going to dip our drumsticks or wings, whatever you're making. So we're gonna dip it in. This recipe, I'm using the air fryer fryer and it's all preheated, ready to go. So now we're gonna take one of our drumsticks. We're gonna just roll it around in here. We want to coat the cheese and the seasonings as much as possible over the drumstick because that's what makes it taste so good. Now you have two options. You can leave the skin on or leave it off. It's totally up to you, but we're ready. Once they're all in, you can just push it in. 400 degrees, 12 minutes, and then just push start. And so now we're just gonna flip it over. Let's just go for about 10 more minutes. All right, when they're all done, just pull them out. Man, that looks amazing. The next recipe is called garlic roasted Parmesan Brussels sprouts. Now I love Brussels sprouts. I usually don't make them from raw, but I'm excited to see how these turn out. We're gonna start with just a bag of Brussels sprouts. Now these are ready to go. They're already rinsed and cut in half. I like using them cut in half. They cook a little bit better. I'm just gonna dump this in my bowl. Next, I have about two tablespoons of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, about two teaspoons of garlic, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning breadcrumbs, and then oh, about two or three tablespoons of just Parmesan. We're gonna eyeball here. Okay, and we're just gonna mix this all together. All right, I'm just gonna put some parchment paper in the bottom just to make cleanup a little bit easier. And we're just gonna dump in our Brussels sprouts. Now the trick with these is that you want to kind of have a single layer. So you're just gonna put the lid on. You're gonna push air fry. We're gonna go 400 degrees. We're gonna go for 10 minutes and check to see how it's going. And then, yeah, we'll just see how it does. All right, starting to look good. Flip it just a little bit, mix it around here. So we're gonna air fry 10 more minutes. Oh, they are looking nice and done. You can just pull them right out. You can just sprinkle them a little bit with Parmesan cheese and then you can serve. The next recipe, we're making asparagus. So I cut up asparagus so it will fit into the air fryer. And we're just gonna put it right in. I did put parchment paper down to make my life a little bit easier. Then we're gonna spread these out a little bit. Just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna mix that around just a little bit. 
So I just sprinkle on just a little bit of garlic salt. And then again, just use my fingers. We're just gonna mix that around. We're gonna spread it out the best that we can. Push the air fry button. And we're going 400, two minutes, and see where it's at. Push start. Those are looking good. That's just how I like it. That is good. If you wanted to go a little longer, you could throw it in for another minute or two, but I like it that way. The next recipe is air fryer egg rolls. All right, first you're gonna do two tablespoons of vegetable oil over a skillet on about low heat. We're gonna add about half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of minced garlic, and then just add about a half a cup of celery. Then we're just gonna stir fry this for just a little bit until it's fragrant. All right, then you're gonna add about a half a pound to a pound of ground turkey or ground chicken, whatever you want. I'm using ground turkey today. Next, you're gonna add about two cups of coleslaw. I just like to use just a coleslaw bag. It has a little bit of carrots in it too. And then just mix that in. We're just gonna go until it's wilted. Next, you're gonna add just three tablespoons of oyster sauce and one tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, and then one tablespoon of sriracha sauce. Now, if you don't wanna add a tablespoon, you don't have to, but we're making them spicy today. Then just go ahead and mix this all together. And then you're gonna add about half a cup of green onions. And we're just gonna mix these in. You don't have to cook these really, we want them a little bit more crispier so you can get that crunch with your egg roll. All right guys, we are ready to make the egg rolls. Okay, we're just gonna add about two tablespoons or so of your mixture. I like to pull up one, pull in the two sides, and then just kind of roll it up again. Now you can get this a little bit wet so it will stay. I just like to cook it seam side down so it doesn't go anywhere. All right, I'm gonna put parchment paper down just to make my life a little bit easier. And we're gonna start adding in the egg rolls. Seam side down. So now I'm just gonna spray them with some olive oil. You can also brush it on just because they need a little bit of oil to cook and then we'll flip them and we'll do more oil. But for now, we're just gonna do it this way. 400 degrees, we just need to go for six minutes. All right, we're gonna pull those out. Oh, they're looking so good. Gonna flip them all and then cook them for a little bit longer. Okay, all flipped. We're just gonna spray a little bit of olive oil on them and throw them back in for about four more minutes. Oh, they are done. They're looking good. Oh, you guys, that is looking amazing. Next up, mozzarella sticks. These are like a childhood favorite. So you're gonna cook it at 380 degrees for only five minutes. Next up is our air fryer salmon. So we're just gonna get a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, about two tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of chili powder, a half teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and then just one teaspoon of garlic powder. You guys, this smells so good. So now we're just gonna mix it all up and it's gonna go right onto our salmon. Now I love using parchment paper when I cook salmon. So we're gonna put that in the bottom one pound salmon. Then the best part, we're just gonna sprinkle all the seasonings right on top. Then I just like to press this in. Now I do have another secret. If you put just like chunks of butter on top, oh, it makes it taste so good. But we're going a little healthier today and not, we're not gonna add the butter. All right, we're gonna take this, gonna put it right into the Instant Pot. Gonna take our air fryer lid. We're gonna push air fry. We're at 400 degrees and we're just going for 10 minutes. We're gonna see how that does and push start. All right, it should be about halfway. Oh, you guys can see this, it looks so good. Oh, and it is already so tender. It just needs to cook just a little bit longer. 10 more minutes. It is all done. So when you're done, you can just pull it out. I love serving this with asparagus or even on top of rice or cauliflower rice. We're ready to make our onion rings. So I cut up our onion, had some good thick onion rings going on. So then I set up four different bowls. 
In the first bowl, we have half a cup of flour, one teaspoon of paprika. I like to use smoked paprika. And then a teaspoon of salt. And just go ahead and mix that together. Okay, so we're gonna have half a cup of buttermilk and one egg, a fourth cup of the flour mixture that we just made and adding it to it. And we'll just mix it all together. Bowl number three, we have half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs, about a half a teaspoon of salt, and about two tablespoons of olive oil. And you're just gonna mix that together with a fork. All right, so for the fourth bowl, you're just gonna take half of this pinko mixture and just, yeah, put that right in. All right, first you're going to grab one of your onion rings with a fork, and we're going to put it in this mixture. So I'm just gonna kind of mix it around. It's not gonna stick too much, but that's okay. We just want it like that. Okay, let's move on to the next round. Then the next bowl, we're going to totally just dip it in, pull it back out with your fork. Then we're gonna go to the breadcrumbs. And you're just going to try and get that as much of that to stick as possible on it. And that is it. Now I sprayed this with olive oil and we're just going to gently press our onion ring down. Now we're going to put all the onion rings in. You can put bigger ones around smaller ones, but you just want a single layer. Now that they're done, we're gonna put them in. Put the lid on. You want to push air fry. We're going to 400 degrees and then for about 10 minutes. So we just have to push start. All right, this next recipe is one of my favorites. We call them Pazookies. If you've never heard of that, it's just a giant cookie and you serve your favorite ice cream on top. Okay, so I started with a half a cup of butter that I've kind of just been creaming together. Next, I'm gonna add half a cup of white sugar and then just a half a cup of brown sugar. Now we're just gonna beat these together until it's nice and smooth. Next, we're just gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla and then one egg. And then just mix that all together. Next, we're gonna add just a teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a half cups of flour. Then just mix it all together. And then you just add one cup of chocolate chips. I just have to show you something really fast. My special Ben and chocolate chips that I literally eat out of all day. Hmm, that's good. Next, I'm gonna spray it with cooking spray and then add just half of the cookie dough. Then I just like to press it down with my fingers. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. Now, this is actually just a five inch spring form pan. It can go in your Instant Pot or your air fryer. Okay, we are ready to go. So we're gonna put this right into the air fryer. We want it at 350 degrees and we're gonna go for 10 minutes and just see where it is. Okay. Oh, it worked, it looks so good. Oh man, that looks so good. Now the next one on my list is simple and easy nachos. So you're gonna add some chips into the bottom of your air fryer. Now you can put any toppings you want on here. I'm just gonna share with you some of my favorites. So first I'm gonna do a little layer of cheese because you know, nachos, you need a lot of cheese, right? Then you can add some type of protein. So you can have beef, you can have chicken. I'm actually gonna add black beans. Super simple and I usually have some just sitting around. Then one of my favorite things on nachos are banana peppers. There's a lot of other things that you can add, but now I'm just gonna finish adding the rest of the cheese. All right, once it's all pretty even, it's time to air fry. You're gonna push air fry. Temperature, we're gonna keep it 400, but we're actually just gonna go down to about a minute. We're gonna see where that takes us. Okay, after a minute, it is done. Now let's find a good chip. Oh yeah. Taste test, let's just see. Oh, that's good. So the next thing I'm making is hard boiled eggs in the air fryer. All right. They say that you can put up to six eggs in here. It's preheated to 270 degrees. We want to cook this for 15 minutes. Now when the eggs are all done, you wanna make sure to put them in an ice bath. It will help them crack so much easier. Out of the ice bath, let's check them out. I'm impressed right now, not gonna lie. Okay, let's cut it open. All right, if you want more air fryer recipes, you can find them just right up there.
I'll see you guys next time. Bye.